Okay, I got a video for you guys today that I wanted to do just to show you um, <clears throat> the dynamic range that you can recover and pull back and manipulate with the correct camera. So, um, as you guys know, I have the Canon R5, I have Sony A7S3, GH5, and Blackmagic 6K. So, I would say the better cameras that I have when it comes to dynamic range would be the Sony a7S 3 as well as the Blackmagic 6K. My Canon R5, the, the dynamic range is not as good. So anyway, we're in this clip right here. I have two clips, so one of my daughter and one of my wife. This is a harsh background, right? So you got the, the uh, background that is wanting to blow out but I exposed for the window rather than my wife so it looks good here but the second you start to color grade it then everything comes comes into play so um, you know if I want to do color space transform on it I can go in and then I can set my this was shot in S log 3 this is the Sony a7s 3 both of these are both a7 S3 clips. So um, as you can see, I'm going to set this for S log 3. So as you can see, it gets really dark. It's hard to see her, right? Um, how you recover this and what I do is the background looks really good, but you don't want to blow this out. So you can't do it with highlights because that's just going to, it's not going to really do anything. So what you want to do is to be able to recover on faces is you want to go after gamma. So gamma will bring up where, I mean, I'm going all the way up to 20. If I did this on my Canon, it would fall apart. And then obviously this background is now brighter, so you can just bring down the highlights on that. So as you can see, now there's tons of recovery in her face. Okay, I'm going to start making my heart face. So much better than as if you could see if I turned off, you know, if I went back to that, you can't see anything. And then we go zero on the highlights. Now, if I want, I don't want to use color tr space transform. Sometimes there's certain LUTs I like. There's these Lumix LUTs that I really dig, EL. In a fashion one, like this is even worse. So as you could see, you just can't see anything in her face. But if I do the same thing, I bring up the gamma and bring down my highlights, I can keep this the same and then recover the detail on her face. That's if I want this. Some people like this look, but let's just say I want to get it back. Then I would bring this up. You know, we could go up to 13 on this one, and then I would just bring down my highlights. And as you can see, all of the detail is back in her face. So um, I want to do this, show this on one more clip. So this is my daughter, right? And if I want to do the color space transform again, we're going to go to uh, Cine 3. And then we'll go to S log three. So as you can see, there's uh, not a lot here. It's starting to get dark. Now, if I wanted to recover that, all I have to do is recover it with the gamma. So gamma, and then you bring down your highlights. And as you can see, now it's back to normal. It's a little bit noisy in here. So what I do is I play with it, and now it's better. So as a result, um, if I wanted to do my favorite is the fashion one on it, as you can see, well, let's go back to recovery for zero here. So this is how it would look. Well, let's just reset this so you can see it. So if I decided I wanted to go fashion one, which is a pretty harsh let, there's just nothing there, right? You can't see anything. So what I want to do is bring up the gamma again on her face just a little bit. I usually don't try to push it past 10. 
10 is probably good. You could go up to 13. Definitely don't go more than that. You're going to start introducing noise. And then you can you can mess with the highlights. This one, you don't really need to mess with the highlights because the lamp's not showing all the way. But as you can see, this, oops, sorry about that. Um, as you can see, it, um, it looks a lot better, right? So anyway, I just wanted to make this video for you guys just to show you that if you have a camera that has enough stops, I believe that the A7S III does 14 stops. And I think the Blackmagic 6K is around the same. Canon is a lot worse. So with Canon, if I had a situation like this and then I try to bring down the highlights, it just really doesn't do anything. And, and then when I'm like, you know, say in this position and I'm trying to recover her face, it just falls apart. So that's when you can tell if you have good dynamic range. My GH5 is not very good at it either. So <clears throat> if you are looking for a camera that has good dynamic range, I would either suggest the A7S III if you want good autofocus. You could do A7 IV. Most of the newer Sony cameras have a lot of dynamic range. <clears throat> so you can gain this back. But if you're not worried about light, in a situation like this in Hollywood, they would have a light in front of her, right? So that they would grab that. It, you wouldn't have to do this. But, you know, if you're just filming about and trying to recover detail, this is the best way to go. So gamma is going to be your, your tool to be able to recover from the face. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Make sure that you comment, like, and please subscribe so um, the channel can grow. So thanks again.